I asked Kevin O'Leary, Mr. Wonderful himself from Shark Tank, one of the most recognizable investors in the world. He also talked about the dark side of AI and if he's worried about AI taking middle class jobs. No, 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 no. The, the, the phobia people have over AI uh, is nonsensical. I mean, it's going to make mundane jobs obsolete. That's the power of this technology. So no, embrace AI. Don't freak out about it. Many of the AI headlines that dominate are about the dark side of AI. And for example, we just spoke to an attorney recently representing a family in Texas that says an AI chatbot encouraged their teenage son who has autism to kill his parents. It also brought up the idea of, of self-harm as a way to cope with sadness. These examples are really scary to a lot of people. That's a horrific story, and there's always going to be horrific stories like that. It's, it's, but that is not just the purvey of AI. Lots and lots of issues, but that's not enough to stop this train of technology, which is going to be such a powerful thing. And I might add, and this is a pretty sobering thought, the country that has the most advanced AI and the most data centers will win militarily. So I hope it's a democracy that ends up leading the advance in AI, not a communist country. And I'm talking about China. Uh, what is your one year target price for Bitcoin? Where do you see it at? I mean, you're really st you're making me forecast, but I'm, ha I'm happy to do it in a year from now. If somehow this act got approved in the next call it six months, a year from then, 250,000 for Bitcoin. That's what I think. I appreciate that prediction.